Looking to freshen up a relationship? Guys, everything in life is based in relationship. Think about it. Obviously, your relationship with other people, friends, family, spouses, coworkers, bosses, etc. But even the way we drive consists of a relationship with the other cars. How we spend our day shows our relationship with time. And in many ways, our health demonstrates our relationship to food. You get the point. But what is really important to note is that all relationships are based on and rooted from the relationship you have with yourself first. It is the foundation of all relationships and therefore the foundation of everything that goes on with your life. When we are struggling with someone else, for example, it is usually the tendency to focus on what it is about them that's causing the problem. Now, I'm not suggesting that because all relationships are rooted with the relationship we have with ourselves, that we are at fault. In fact, it's not about placing blame at all. It's about finding solutions. And from what I have experienced, solutions come from emotional intelligence or how self-aware we are, how deep we have an understanding of the behaviors involved. Are we accepting of ourselves and the situation or the other person? Do we embrace uniqueness and differences? And how well is everyone, including yourself, managing themselves and their frustrations? Are you feeling empowered, powerless, or powerful? We will deep dive into these in my spring challenge happening now through the end of May. In the meantime, I challenge you to put to top of mind how each thing that occurs for the rest of the day is a relationship and ask yourself, how is your relationship with yourself impacting the outcome or how you're feeling about it? I'll leave you with an example. I am a very impatient driver. I'm the first to admit that I can easily lose my cool when other people are not going as quickly as I would like, especially on the highway. Yes, their driving behavior is affecting me, but it's my choice on how I want to deal with it. I have absolutely no control over making them drive faster. I could simply place blame and get all upset, or I could find a solution and move on. So I need to tap into my relationship with myself to decide how I want to behave in the moment. I can feel powerless and just travel at their speed. I can choose to try to exert power over them and ride their tail or aggressively pass them by cutting them off. Or I can feel empowered by leaning into my personal strengths and adapting to the realization that this really isn't gonna have a big impact on my life overall. So take a deep breath and proceed positively by feeling empathy for why they may not be comfortable driving faster communicating my desire to go past by flashing my lights, problem solving by simply driving in a different lane, strategizing by looking ahead at a faster route and being mindful that this is not a competition since comparing myself to others never does me any good. When I tap into my relationship with myself by fully knowing, understanding, accepting, embracing, and managing who I am, I can approach the situation with empowerment rather than stay focused on how the relationship with the other driver is driving me crazy. I am a work in progress, especially when it comes to other drivers, but having this mindset definitely helps reduce my stress overall, and I hope it will for you as well. If you want to learn more, join my spring challenge or just reach out to me and we'll connect. Thanks guys and have a great day.